All right, everyone, welcome back to the Mode of Anatomy. So uh, today, we're just taking a little cruise. Um, there was a topic that I really wanted to uh, touch base on, and that was the idea that you need to uh, create high quality or expensive type of, um, I know a lot of people call it content, I call it experiences, and how that is far from, uh, far from the truth, I guess. You know, if you, if you provide uh, some type of um, video, or even a podcast type of, uh, you know, let's call it content, I guess. Uh, people will tune in. I think, I, 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 I'm a, a true believer of that. Um, I was listening to uh, one of the, the people I follow on YouTube. Um, he's Graham Stefan, Stefan, Stefan. And, uh, you know, he's always talking about, like, uh, finances and things like that and how his challenge has exploded over the last three three to six months i mean it seems like every any any video that he pulls up it's just uh it goes viral and so the videos that he does they're pretty simple they're you know in the uh, in the living room of his house and he just you know talking about finances now the guy knows what he's saying he actually does a lot of research um Hence why I really like um, the information that he's providing. Uh, in today's video, he, he mentioned something about uh, how people don't start because they're always afraid that they don't have enough. They don't have the right quality. They, uh, they lack the funds and the resources. With this whole you know, time away from work, if you, one, if you're working from, from home, you have more time to yourself. Two, if you um, are, you know, sadly are unemployed, people always say, oh, go start a side hustle. Like if starting a side hustle was that easy, right? Everybody makes it seem super easy. But I'm not going to be one of those guys who says, oh, yeah, it's super easy. Go do it. Anybody can do it. But at the same time, I'm going to say um, it's not impossible. And we know that you sitting on the couch kind of feeling upset or or however you're feeling about the, the current situation, is not gonna make things better. It's not gonna make you, uh, you know, kinda jump out of out of bed and, and say, hey, I wanna try something different, something new. So with that said, I'm not gonna say it's super easy, but I'm not gonna put so many different um, limitations that you can go and do it. Now, as always, I always use myself as an example. When I started out on Motive Anatomy, now it's going to be, it was in 2018. That sounds crazy because now we're in 2020, even though we just started. Um, I started with my phone. I started with a selfie stick. I, I you know, went and interviewed Steve with his wagon, uh, Gabe with his S2000, a few other people. And all I did was pull up my my little selfie stick and they're like, that's it. Yeah, that's, that's it, man. Um, and later on, as the time progressed, the only reason why I, I guess I got newer materials like a GoPro, was because my phone screen uh, was actually you know getting mix, uh, messed up and and you know there was a whole hashtag for a while clean your lenses uh, in the comment section as well clean your lenses but it wasn't the lenses it just water got into my camera and I just couldn't you know do anything about that. Um, my goal has always been to keep it very budget friendly this this is just a way of me getting to know different people and for me to um, have fun doing it which was talking about cars and going to different events now I go to different events I'm able to have conversations with different individuals some that I interview and some that I have not interview um, but it's just because we met through mutual friends now so the reason why I want to have this conversation is whatever you decide to do it's okay just do it like you're never gonna be ready. I'll put it that way. You're never gonna be ready. You're never gonna have the resources. You're always gonna be uh, comparing yourself with others that may have started three years ago, ten years ago. And so, yes, your quality is not gonna be the best. Um, I know that a lot of people are intimidated. You shouldn't be touching your hands or face, but it's difficult when you get itchy. Um, People get intimidated, especially showing up with the phone, right, to an event. And there you are with your little selfie stick. And, and who cares? At the end of the day, 
Um, I follow channels who do not have the greatest of equipment, and that's fine. Like I don't, I don't really care per se. That's not. Who, who cares about that? Uh, the right people will tune in. The right people will listen to the podcast. Whatever it is that you're trying to, the message that you're trying to send, if it's a positive one, if it's a negative one, those people will come. It's almost like build it and they'll they'll show up type of thing. And I've definitely have seen that with the channel. I've definitely have seen that the right people are tuning into this uh, these videos. Very few um, and the interviews, all the videos that I've done, very few people are negative or say negative things about the car or the builder. And we usually just tune them out. I mean, it's not a major deal. And and I'm so glad that as the channel is growing, I don't have to do a lot of that. Commenting, hey, keep it respectful, or just straight out uh, blocking people. And I truly believe it's because of the type of videos that we we have created and um, the education behind it. But I... I know that I could have started a long time ago and if you're sitting there thinking like shit man like with this whole and, and virus or no virus virus just gives us time if again if you're unemployed or if you're working from home or things like that it just gives us time to reflect damn like okay life has slowed down forcefully what what do I do on my free time and and what am I doing for me as a person to grow? And the reason why I'm, I'm asking, those, I would say ask yourself those questions is because anything that you do, do it for fun and do it for you to grow as a person. If I would have thought, hey, man, um, man, I want to create a YouTube channel and that makes me hundreds and thousands of dollars. Good luck. That mentality is not going to get you far because um, it is very hard to get viewers, one. And two, to get, uh, you know, the YouTube program partnership is no secret. I mean, I'll tell you guys, it's a thousand subscribers and 4,000 4, hours of watch time. And one thing that I see is a lot of people are constantly saying, you know, uh, hey, watch my videos. Hey, don't forget to subscribe. I do that too. But I feel like another thing aside from get started and do it is create the type of video or or sound that you want to provide for people and just keep creating value they will subscribe you know i've had a people uh, a few people who say man I've been, I've been watching your videos and i always forget to subscribe or i watch your videos as a guest i don't have a youtube account that's fine like hey you know the numbers of the account that just looks pretty on on paper but in reality is when you're watching you're commenting um and and as you're getting something out of it that to me is the most important thing because if who cares if my my videos are getting 500,000 views and no one's getting anything out of it it's kind of pointless because in the comment section you're gonna be able to see the type of comments you're gonna be able to see you know it's just a type of demographics that you may or may not want for your videos for for my channel I really really want uh, engagement I want people to be motivated I want people to keep building their cars I want people to say damn my car can look like that I want that so if you're thinking of a podcast if you're if you've been sitting there thinking of a podcast because you and I and I, and I talked to Mauricio uh, he's uh, the new type part that we did at red one I said look he likes cars and he had a great personality uh, good-looking dude too and you know I don't know if that matters to some of you but it goes it goes with that some people oh i'm not good at in camera i'm overweight well okay oh my voice is not this, the best i i stutter or i okay and that's the reason why i i told my reason why you're a good looking dude why not do this why not and if you like the dodgers which nobody should like the dodgers but if you like the dodgers and you like cars dude do a freaking podcast about it if you don't want to be on camera do a podcast about dodgers and cars you know, people will tune in. I'll tune in for the car part. I won't tune in for the Dodgers. I'll, I'll zoom you out. But in all honesty is find that niche. Don't expect it to grow overnight. I think that's the, that's a poor way of thinking about it because then the views don't come in and then you get upset. Then you start thinking, well, I guess I'm not good at it. Well, I guess, you know, this was a mistake to start it. 
well, if I had better camera, then that would be a difference. Yes, we would all love, you know, perfect picture uh, cameras, audio, but it takes time. All of this that I purchased has been from Amazon, and I keep it very, like, if I can get the cheapest, and I know some people are going to be like, nah, you shouldn't cheap out, but this is just the style that I was going for. If I can get the cheapest audio that will work, sure. If you want to go spend $3,000 on audio, go for it. I just don't want to spend that type of money um, just because that's not the, the mission that I'm going for. This, this is exactly what I wanted and this is fine for me. But to those who are sitting there like, man, I'm really on a budget. Man, your phone can do much better things than a computer could do maybe 20 years ago, 15 years ago when the computers were barely starting. So don't give me a, an excuse as to why you haven't started. Um, before it was warm home from tired because of the commute. Well, if your commute has been cut, use those um, use those hour, hour and a half, two hours that you used to commute to create something. The excuses can be as many or as, as little as the ones you choose. So I really wanted to touch base on that. Please take advantage of whatever situation you're in. Don't try to look at it so much for the negative. And I know it comes easy for me because I may not be in a situation where I just got laid off and I have no savings. Completely understandable. By that means, yeah, you're gonna have to go get a job. We'll get a job that, you know, wherever you need to go get a job. But whenever you do have some free time, ask yourself those things. Um, even myself, I mean, a lot of people, I follow a lot of people that do like this. Uh, they just record themselves while driving and have a conversation uh, I I don't see why people if you provide some good information some good experiences um, why people shouldn't follow people will follow people will you know listen to you once again um, it doesn't have to be the best quality yes yes there's you know people that have amazing quality and they have thousands of dollars to to spend and things like that but guess what we're not all like that and that's okay just kind of want to give you guys a, a reminder that if you're sitting there and i'm sure that at least one person i know one person at least out of the 200 300 people that listen to this is sitting there thinking like man like how did he know like he i need to start doing that freaking start cooking record yourself while cooking people love watching people cook i don't but i know that uh videos on either youtube or other platforms it's all about cooking and and how to prepare meat and veggies and vegans and all this whatever whatever that is go ahead and do it you, you just never know where it might lead to um and again it might not be for a financial uh reward that may or may not come to be honest with you um but it will make you feel good. When I started this channel about a year and a half ago, um, I, I clearly told my wife, I just don't have friends in the car community. And when I go to a meet or, or you know, I don't have anybody I can work, you know, on cars with, um, it's disappointing and it's upsetting. So I'm, I kind of want to start interviewing people about their cars and make friends. So she was honest. She's like, yeah. That sounds like a good idea. It was never like, hey, by the way, in two years, I want to start making money and then I can quit my job. And then, dude, that mentality, one, it wouldn't have worked to begin with. And two, I think people can smell that and people can really see that in, in the interviews. And um, nah, that's definitely not the message that I, the message that I wanted to show uh, for our channel. So with that being said, we always go for the car. We say for the person. Um, thank you guys so much for the support. And on the comment section, let us know some of the ideas you've been wanting to do. Um, and then from there, how you plan to execute. Because it's not just about thinking, but actually executing. So thank you guys so much for the support. And I hope you guys uh, enjoy this conversation.